Dan Earl admits he fell in love with a three ball almost out of necessity. It was at VMI uh, and we didn't have necessarily the best athletes in the world either. So to be able to space the floor and shoot a ton of threes, uh, it's a different style. Um, we like to get up and down and, and the three point line again, if you're making shots, you can uh, give people problems on any given night. Earl owns a master's degree in business logistics, so he studied the numbers on the effect of launching a number of threes. And I still like to see and watch guys play and figure out who I think can play and not, but then you couple it with the analytics side. As you know, the baseball side, it was heavy with money ball and that whole thing, but it's really crept into the basketball game, so we looked at it quite a bit. At VMI last year, the Kedets shot 1,049 threes, averaging 32 attempts a game. At VMI, we shot the first or second most threes in the nation uh, in the last two years. So there were many games that we shot more three-point field goal attempts than two-point field goal attempts. VMI transfer center Jake Stevens will join the mocks this year. He hit basically 50% of his three-pointers last year, and he's seven feet tall. Jake Stevens has been a guy for us that's really stretched the floor and it opens up things, you know, the center, the opposing center has to play you on the perimeter, uh, so it opens up some avenues, some driving lines and backdoor cuts for the guards and forwards as well. It's an exciting brand of basketball to watch, you know, right? so certainly dunks bring the crowd off their feet, but uh, if you can bang home some threes, that certainly does as well, and if you can make them as high eclipsed as we did sometimes last year, and, and certainly what we're trying to do at Chattanooga, I think the crowd will really enjoy watching us play.